about 6.30 in the morning. We're getting ready to do a little track prep. Every day before uh, our guys go out on, we go out the dozer, break up all the snow. Just like that, it's gonna be a beautiful day. to build a track that's you know technical and difficult just try to improve uh, my technique on a snowmobile I mean I can I can build whatever I want if I want to work on whoops one day I'll just build a ton of whoops if I want to work on my timing and and you know other stuff triples or whatever I can build that so that's what's uh, positive about being on Speed Speedports so Just so you know how things work around here. That's the sun, that's the earth, and that's shearing speed sports. And that's what the world revolves around. And once you get that figured out, it's just so much easier to maneuver here. We'll hit the gym. We'll, we have a program from our trainer back at home, um, XIP training. At this point of the season, we've we've done all the heavy lifting. We've you know built up our endurance. So now we're just trying to maintain what we have built all summer, and at the same time stay loosened up. Because as soon as we start riding, our hips get super tight. We don't move very well uh, during the season. So we try to stay loose, and uh, yeah, just try to improve our bodies every day. So. file into the ECM on the two race practice sleds. Um, right now it's running just a little bit rough on the bottom and they sent me a new file to try to clean up the bottom end from where it's idling and stuff. Maybe a little better throttle response. Maybe be able to do a triple instead of a double. Who knows? That's why we test. There are six sleds and uh, two for each pro guy and then we have one for our sport and our pro light and just going over them, making sure everything's in the right spots, turning them into race sleds. Always trying to improve our sleds, and I want to be faster week in and week out. I don't want to just, you know, come up with one setup uh, for the first race and just stay like that the whole season. So if we can keep improving, and we'll win the championship. Obviously, I want to go out there, and I want to show people that I'm, I'm in the class to be a contender, and obviously I, I want to get some race wins. I, I believe that I'm capable of it. I, mean, I definitely know that the equipment is good enough for me to win races. Well, what did you think of that, Sonny? Didn't like that. Didn't like it, suck. Right now, what are you trying to correct? The front or the back? I'm trying to balance it out. It's like when we crack the front, then the back is a little freaky, and then... Did some shock testing today with Fox Shocks and just trying to get the sleds dialed for different snow conditions. And we have a really good setup with the softer, fluffy snow, but we've kind of been struggling a little bit with the uh, warm weather days, so... Yeah, don't get hurt. That's our goal. Don't get hurt. best friend so you know we're always training together always riding together um, I'm looking forward to actually having uh, my teammate be in the pro class it's so funny because so many people like friends and family that are close to us they're all like oh once you guys start start beating it like once you start beating Lincoln like if you do then um, there's gonna be hard feelings like he's gonna get upset with you and I mean I don't see that at all and because for me I'm always hoping for the best for him and like I, I want to see him succeed. I mean, he's he's always been the one rider that I looked up to my entire career. So, I mean, for me to go in there and and hope the worst for him, that's just not right of me. So you know, we're always just trying to improve improve the sled, try to get faster, and it's uh, it's going to be a, a lot better this year to have him in the pro class. So, I think we can go one two this year. I believe that every single year, you know, we got to stay injury free and we gotta not have any DNFs. And that's what 
separates the guy that wins the championship and the guy that finishes fourth.